Anyone who's had kidney stones knows the pain can be intense and treatment is often neither quick nor painless. Researchers at the University of Waterloo are developing a new minimally invasive procedure that could change that. CTV Spencer Turcott finds out how. They're pretty big. These are real kidney stones that were either passed or removed from a patient. And you can imagine however they got out, it didn't feel great. A lot of the um, therapies involve oral medication. So people go on uh, oral medication, have to take pills maybe a couple times a day for several months. That's not always effective or efficient. Surgery is another route. So when it gets really acute and um, the stones are, for example, blocking um, the ureter, then the surgeons will have to go in and remove those stones. A lot of times, once people get kidney stones, they're more susceptible to getting them again. So this team of University of Waterloo researchers were approached by a urologist in Barcelona hoping to get patients relief in a less invasive way. He said, hey, you guys are doing these wireless microbots. Is there maybe a way that you could locally um, trigger the dissolution of stones by bringing um, medication or bringing um, a reaction close to the stones in the urinary tract, uh, causing the dissolution uh, and then thereby avoiding long time uh, medication or even surgery. An obscure request, right? Not really. The answer from the UW researchers was yes, there is a way. We set up a rotating magnetic field using a permanent magnet, which is attached to a DC motor. We control the position of the magnet using a robot arm. When I move the tube, it will move with it. The microbots are made up of thin spaghetti-like strips fitted with magnets, which are moved into place near uric acid kidney stones with the robotic arm. The soft strips contain an enzyme called urease, and once in place, it reduces the acidity of the surrounding urine, which then dissolves the stones until they are small enough to pass naturally in a few days. This is uh, definitely the first of its kind for kidney stones. The medical breakthrough is extra special for Afarine, who was a master's student when she worked on the project because she suffers from kidney stones. The first time that I saw the robots move was one of the best days of my life, I would say. The technology is still in the testing phase and needs more work before moving on to human clinical trials. Still, no small feat for a very small robot. Spencer Turcott, CTV News, Waterloo.